Hey guys, I am so happy to be sharing this video with you. It feels like it has just been years in the making. We finally have our batting cage in our side yard. It's just wonderful for everybody in the family and we are happy to have it and even more happy to have it done. <laughs> so here's how we did it. The first thing we had done was a cement pad. This is the one part of the project that we didn't do on our own. It's nine feet wide by 21 feet long. After that was poured, we pulled all these little river rocks out of the side yard from some really old landscaping. That took almost an entire day. The boys built a four foot by four foot box to later put the pitching machine on and then it was time for the utility sand. So we laid four cubic yards of this utility sand. It's basically like a dirty DG. And this is to go underneath the AstroTurf to kind of degrade the dirt and just make everything nice and smooth and flat. I actually enjoyed the rolling process. We rented this roller from the Home Depot. You fill it with water, it's super heavy, and you just roll and you compact and you grade it. So we you know, obviously wanted the water to roll in a certain direction. Well, I worked on that. He worked on a paver border. He definitely has more patience than I do for these kind of tasks. So we have this great paver border, and then you, as you can see in this photo, the utility sand is all compacted and perfect. After that, we laid, as close to perfect as possible, a weed barrier just to prevent any weeds from popping up. We really struggle with weeds in our yard, so we didn't want any little pesky guys popping through our turf. Then we cut the turf, and we were able to do it in just four pieces, which was really nice because seaming it is not the most fun, which is one thing that you have to do. So once we got the turf laid, we nailed it into the ground with these nails. You can kind of see them in the bottom of the picture. And then we had to tackle the seams. We found some team tape on Amazon and it worked great as you can see in that photo. Then it was time to lay the sand and the sand actually goes on top of the turf just to kind of keep it down. Deacon is way stronger than he looks by the way. We uh, just used the broom to brush it out and then I laid some white marble chips. So we got this really pretty, we think it's pretty, uh, turf, paper border, white marble chip look around the entire cage. I especially love this little outlet. Oh, <laughs> and the fan. You guys, this thing is a flipping lifesaver. It cools like 500 square feet. I think it cools at like 10 to 15 degrees. Um, there's a coupon code that we have. It's fan15 and it saves 15%. It was worth it. Um, for example, laying this carpet, we did it with carpet glue and we did it with the carpet. We just rolled it back. We had to do it one foot at a time. You guys, every one of these pictures, it's like 100 degrees outside. So it was really hot. We were just roasting the entire time we were doing it. So that was the second worst part was the carpet glue. The first worst was the, that's even a thing, um, putting up these poles. How we still have all of our windows, I don't even know. They were so awkward and so heavy, and they were just electrical, like galvanized steel poles. So... We put those puppies up. We had to cut them and extend them. So as you can see, there's a little connector bit on there. So the length of each pole is 15 feet, and then the cage is 10 feet wide by 10 feet tall. So that's the dimensions of the cage. We got the poles at Home Depot. We got the foam that we put around the poles at Home Depot, the uh, like little footing that you can see there. We ordered that online along with the connector, you know, the elbows and whatnot. All online, we hammered them in with 12 foot or 12 foot, huh, yeah, right, 12 inch stakes so that we kind of stayed compliant with the HOA. So we put the foam on there. We didn't want any balls kind of bouncing back at us. A few things I should mention or talk about we got this rubber backstop on Amazon. It's really nice because that way the balls don't hit our fence. It also kind of quiets everything down just a little bit. And then we bought this storage box from Costco. I think it was like a hundred bucks. So we're keeping the balls and any extra, you know, little random pads or things like that in there. Caliber is loving the turf. I don't know why he enjoys laying on it because it's kind of hot. Um, in this picture, he was too hot to touch. Why a black dog likes to lay in a hundred degree sun? I have no idea. But anyways, that's the cage. We're using it for cricket. The boys have been using it for soccer and of course baseball. We'll eventually get a golf net in there as well, but in the meantime, yep, we're just having a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I forgot anything, just leave a question down below. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.